The suspect has been arrested in a quadruple homicide, and his connections to other killers are catching a lot of attention. On December 30, 2022, 28-year-old Brian Koberger was arrested in Pennsylvania in connection with the stabbing murders of four University of Idaho college students. After the shocking arrest, disturbing details emerged about the suspect's personal interests and past behavior. In November 2022, four University of Idaho students were killed in their off-campus home while they slept. In the aftermath, authorities gave little detail about the nature of their investigation. The unsolved case gripped the nation, and the crimes haunted the small college town of Moscow in rural northwestern Idaho, where the U of I campus is located. A lead reportedly emerged for investigators after DNA samples found at the crime scene matched DNA of Koberger's relatives acquired from a commercial genealogy service. Koberger's car, a white Hyundai Elantra, was also reportedly spotted in the area on the night the students died. A warrant was issued for Koberger's arrest, and the suspect was tracked to his family home in Pennsylvania. Detectives arrested 28-year-old Brian Christopher Koberger in Albrightsville, Pennsylvania. Brian Koberger wasn't a resident of Moscow, Idaho, nor was he a student at U of I. Instead, he lived and was enrolled in a doctorate program in criminal justice and criminology at Washington State University. Beyond academics, Koberger was described by those close to him as a loner and difficult to get along with. He also had a history of substance use issues, according to the New York Times. Speaking with the outlet, a one-time Koberger friend, Thomas Arnst, said, over time, it just got so, so bad that I just shut down when I was around him. Prior to moving to Pullman, Koberger finished a master's degree in criminal science from DeSales University in Pennsylvania. While there, Koberger studied under renowned forensic psychologist and author Dr. Catherine Ramsland, an expert on serial killers and mass murder. In her career, Ramsland, who in 2016 wrote Confession of a Serial Killer, also interacted with Dennis Rader, better known as the BTK killer for his method of murdering his victims, bind, torture, kill. Rader was sentenced to life behind bars for the murder of 10 people in the Wichita, Kansas area over a 30-year period. As Britannica goes on to note, Dennis Rader often wrote taunting letters to the authorities about the crimes he committed and referred to himself as the BTK killer. BTK began today's letter with a question. How many do I have to kill before I get a name in the paper or some national attention? Of the possibility that Brian Koberger may have been inspired by or even in contact with her father while studying under Dr. Catherine Ramsland, Raider's daughter Carrie Rawson told News Nation, It's hard to be the kid of this guy and live with this, you know, and then see somebody else go do this and wonder, did your dad influence him? In an unsettling coincidence, Raider also studied criminal justice in the midst of his own murder spree. Speaking with Fox News, Rawson said that it was common for criminology students to correspond with her father, and that the knowledge that Koberger might have made contact with him as part of his studies made her stomach turn. As of this video, much about Brian Koberger is uncertain. Given his academic career, it's likely that Koberger was well informed about the crimes of the BTK killer. Still, it's yet to be confirmed if he and BTK ever actually spoke to each other. In a tweet after Koberger's arrest was announced, Rawson wrote, I have ongoing concerns, knowing how common it is for criminology students, true crime fans, and others to correspond regularly with my father. In early January 2023, Koberger agreed to be extradited to Idaho from Pennsylvania to face four counts of first-degree murder charges and one charge of burglary relating to the U of I murder spree. Koberger's defense attorney says the accused man believes he will be exonerated.